The Air Highway on the WA Goldfields is home to the longest stretch of straight road in Australia. It's hot and dry, and a world away from the devastation caused by the recent flooding in the Kimberley. With floodwaters washing away roads and bridges to the region's northernmost communities, some trucks are making a 12,000 kilometre return trip to keep supplies flowing. They now have to go from Perth across to Port Augusta in South Australia and then up the um, Stewart Highway up through, through Cooper Pedy, Alice Springs, up to Darwin that way. It's a hell of a lot longer. You could probably, if you're a solo driver, you probably add on another couple of days. The route has seen a rise in traffic along the highway increased, um, not quite twofold, um, but noticeably a lot more traffic in trucks and caravans, I might add, as well. Um, so there, there has been a big change since the roads were um, closed off up in the Kimberley. The new route has seen the remote Cocklebitty Roadhouse, 1,100 kilometres east of Perth, become a hub for drivers making their way north. It's been phenomenal. You know, we... Um, <laughs> I, I, I can't even explain it. We've never seen this amount of traffic and people ever. I've been out here like 40 years and I've never seen this kind of traffic on the road ever. The state government has lifted restrictions on the size of road trains allowed on the highway to allow supplies to flow north. But the tri-state trip is a first for many. I haven't actually made it ever. It's, yeah, so it's a, it's a new experience. With floodwaters starting to recede, some roads in the Kimberley have been reopened. But with the full extent of the damage still not known, the Western Roads Federation says this route across the Nullarbor is likely to be used well into the dry season. Despite the difficult road ahead, the truckies say it's business as usual. Andrew Chounding, ABC News, Cocklebiddy.